The Grahams were delighted to be in their newly acquired abode in Tampa, Florida. Nevertheless, they had no idea of the disagreeable shock that was in store for them. They had settled in one of the most peaceful and appealing districts of the city. However, there was no evidence of terror concealed within their restroom. When they happened upon it, the sight was like something from a horror film. John and Stephanie were beyond eager to relocate to their new abode. They had been daydreaming about it for a long stretch of time. They'd been living in New York for quite some time, and they were ready for a modification in atmosphere. They were fed up with the clamor and hustle of the city, and they realized there were better spots to nurture their kids. They concluded that Tampa was the ideal spot to bring up their small family. They purchased a pleasant house in the most desirable neighborhoods of the city. Nevertheless, nothing was able to ready them for what they would happen upon them in their new residence. When they arrived, it seemed flawless. They were certain that this was now their ideal abode. The weather in Tampa was a great improvement compared to New York, and the environment was also better. Their fresh neighborhood looked great and secure. It was the ideal spot to bring up their two kids. When they arrived, they were taken aback. The realty company had neglected to tell them something about the residence. Early one morning, Stephanie was going about her usual activities close to the shared restroom. As she brushed her teeth, she realized something wasn't right. Initially, she hadn't paid any attention to the noise, but now it was all she could focus on. The reverberation of noise was echoing through the restroom. She stayed motionless, attentively trying to discover where the noise was coming from. Nonetheless, she couldn't identify it. She attempted to dismiss it. It didn't appear like a huge issue in the moment. Every so often she would detect it, however, nobody else appeared to perceive it. She attempted to ignore it at first, yet eventually she realized that it was becoming more regular and louder. It eventually got to the point where it seemed to be echoing each time she was in the restroom. What could be causing this peculiar sound? She tried to find out where the noise was coming from, but it seemed to be everywhere in the bathroom. Even more puzzling, the sound slowly started to spread to other rooms in the house. She was unable to spot the source of noise, which made it all the more confusing. One day, Stephanie had a revelation. The sound she was hearing was coming from inside the walls. She was aghast and she envisioned hundreds of rodents living in the walls of her home. But she was puzzled. How were the creatures getting inside the walls? This was a newly built house and she knew for a certain that it had been sealed shut with no openings for them to get in through. Unfortunately, this issue only got worse. The noise had become extremely loud. It reverberated throughout the restroom. It was really loud and unpleasant. It had become impossible to disregard. It blanketed the entire washroom. Stephanie was now completely baffled. She looked everywhere, but she was unable to locate anything. She was perplexed and determined to go back to her and John's sleeping quarters to inform him of her findings. Her partner chose to investigate. When he heard the noise, he was utterly confused. Just like Stephanie, he also examined the entire restroom, but he couldn't locate anything. The noise was audible, but when John looked around the restroom, there was nothing that seemed to be the source. Then John had an idea of what might have caused it. It could be that an issue had occurred with the pipes. It appeared to be a plausible explanation. This could explain why nothing could be located in the restroom. John contacted a plumbing specialist to inspect the pipes. Surprisingly, something else seemed to be wrong. It was an untouched residence. It was strange for the plumbing not to be working correctly. The Grams were left without an explanation. For the upcoming period, they were stuck with the sound. It got to the point where it was unbearable. Gradually, it increased in volume. Something that was once only hardly perceptible had turned into a major irritation. One day, the Grams noticed something. They saw an occurrence was beginning that would unveil the source of this spooky sound. John and Stephanie explored the kitchen. The clamor was much more intense here, not just coming from the restroom. Stephanie then perceived a stench that was sugary and recognizable, but she couldn't remember it. A dense spot of liquid had spread on the ground near the back wall, and this was the source of the odor. Stephanie and John looked at the murky pond on the floor. Shortly after, they observed something trickling down the wall in thick, deep streaks. The black liquid was suspiciously like a tree sap, and it was everywhere. It was smeared all over the wall, and this was impossible to ignore. Something was very off about this house. Stephanie had been plagued by a sound that only intensified as the night progressed. 
She was in the middle of a refreshing shower when she caught sight of something peculiar. Bees were buzzing around her. Where did they come from? Although it wasn't the time of the year for it, the entrance of the window was shut and she had not ever seen any insects near the residence. In a short time, she observed them flying in and out of minute cracks between the bathroom tiles. This is where she comprehended what was happening. So, that was what was causing the loud drone. It seemed that there were bees residing behind the shower walls. It's possible that there was even a large nest there. There must have been a lot of bees causing the honey to come through the woodwork and trim around the kitchen, which had a wall that connected with the restroom. She had a feeling of peace now that she could explain the sound she had been focusing on. Right away, Stephanie called her husband and informed him of what she had observed. They concurred to reach out to a nearby bee extraction specialist so she could take care of the problem. The bee removal specialist arrived in a huge white truck when she began her job and saw what was hidden in the shower walls, everyone was astonished. To make sure that the bees were inside the wall, the bee removal specialist used a thermal imaging camera to search it. This camera is able to locate heat. Bees are able to warm up their homes through the vibration of their wings, keeping the temperature inside a cozy 35 degrees Celsius. The grams were finally able to comprehend the source of the hot spot inside the wall when they viewed it through a thermal image. The bee removal specialist was obligated to demolish the shower walls. Stephanie was stunned when she took away the remaining blocks and exposed the inner walls of the house. However, there was an issue. The number of bees was greater than anticipated. There were around 35,000 bees living inside, which was an unprecedented sight. A tremendous mass of bees was found concealed inside the Graham shower walls. It was a monstrous size, spanning seven feet in height. There was a profusion of bees producing a lot of buzz and hum within the small room in the wall. The Grahams were astonished when they witnessed it. However, Alicia Bixler, the bee removal specialist, had reasons to be delighted with the discovery. Alicia Bixler was the proprietor of a beekeeping organization. Upon learning of this, she was extremely thrilled and chose to capture it and post it on her TikTok account. Wow, that's a lot of honey, she says. I'm planning to transport them to one of my bee farms. However, her journey didn't stop there. For a few days, the Graham's residence was blocked off by the firefighters. The family simply could not stay in the vicinity of a huge and possible hazardous beehive. At the start, Bixler had hoped to take out the enormous hive and transport it to one of her cars. However, it was soon made clear that this was not doable due to the hive's tremendous size. At the time, there was no solution to the problem of the hive. It couldn't be put onto Bixler's land. It could be taken away, and the regulations stated that it was not allowed to kill the bees. The Grams had no other choice than to keep their house shut for the moment, and their insurance company refunded their money. Fortunately, the Grams were given a short-term house by the real estate firm. This one was not hiding by a large beehive between its walls. The home stayed closed off forever. It wasn't until the community government and the bee removal specialist could collaborate and figure a way out to take care of the huge hive. Honeybees are very attracted to cavities and walls, and they could use a permanent home. Even though the house had been completely blocked off and insulated, there was still a small opening in the outside wall and blocked the surrounding pipes. If you detect a bee population inhabiting in your walls, don't take matters into your own hands. If they are disturbed, the results can be fatal. Although they can be a risk, honeybees are absolutely crucial to the environment. Bees are essential for the production of a variety of foods, from fruits to vegetables. In fact, a third of what we eat would not exist if it weren't for their pollination. Therefore, when you come across a beehive, be sure to avoid destroying it. Regrettably, entire groups of bees have been vanishing around the world. Their numbers are shrinking, yet specialists can't figure out the cause. Millions of bees are disappearing from their dwelling over the world and not coming back. This phenomenon is also known as colony collapse disorder, and it's so severe in some places that 90% of the bees in these regions have vanished. A total of eight types of bees are now considered to be in danger of extinction. The cause of their decrease in numbers is mainly attributed to the destruction of their habitats, the introduction of alien organisms, natural catastrophes, and the excessive use of chemicals to kill pests. Everyone has the ability to assist bees in their own backyards. There are many steps that can be taken to give these creatures a helping hand. You can make a difference for the bees by growing plants and flowers that bees are drawn to. Do a little research to find out what type of beehives live in your area and what they use for gathering pollen. 
Generally speaking, bees are fond of blossoms that are blue, white, or purple. Simultaneously abstain from utilizing manufactured pesticides, weed killers, or manure that could detrimentally influence the honeybees. When bees inhabit your residence, it is best to take after the Graham family and contact an experienced bee elimination company. Using pesticides in the nest will not benefit you in the end. If you eliminate the bee settlement, the remaining honey will flow into your house. This could lead to more expensive fixings than if you had taken a more compassionate approach to getting rid of them. Employing smoke as a way to repel a bee colony situated in a difficult-to-access place is the most compassionate DIY solution. Honeybees are very responsive to odor. When they perceive the scent of smoke, they assume that there is a forest fire that is endangering their nest. Using a cardboard piece that has been exposed to smoke along with some burnt wood will make the beehive leave and won't return. If you like the story and think it might have a positive meaning, you can share it with your family and friends. We would also love to hear your comments about the story. Thanks for watching and have a great time.